So here it is. Uh, Levantu 1310 South Salamander. You can download it. You can blog about it. Go to the wiki, the forum, the documentation, contact um, the, the Levantu team and get involved. You know, you can download it right here on the front page of Levantu.net and you can get it into different flavors or you can use the torrents. And what is different? What is what is different? You know, and the main difference, you know, the, is right here Firefox. Instead of using Chromium as the default browser, web browser, Firefox is taking that place. You go to improvements, you know, got a new version of the PC Man FM File Manager. Artworks improvement, great artwork. In this edition, as you can see, I'm, I'm using it. I'm definitely using um, right now as my production machine, Lubuntu uh, 1310. Uh, so, you got some known issues, a few little hiccups here and there, but uh, otherwise, this is this has to be the greatest, one of the greatest uh, implementations. All right, so let's look at Lubuntu 13 inside a virtual machine. And the main reason why I want you to see it inside a virtual machine is so that you can see the differences as to what I've I've done in my production environment or in my installation because I am using 13.10 right now as my production um, PC. Uh, there's quite a few different things that you you'll be able to see here shortly one is you're going to be able to see the of the different two different desktops you know um how about i change up my wallpaper another one uh, is is what you'll be see is all the different applications that i've installed and everything and while we're booting up you know we can see a few few tweaks you see i have all my what is equivalent to uh the lunch menu Of the quick lunch menu, I have right here on the lunch bar my favorite used programs. Now here we are. We're right here already booted into just by me having a little conversation. We're booted into Lubuntu 1310. One of the one of the real slick things features that I'm gonna point out before we get started into reviewing this is that of all the um, operating systems or flat distributions. Now, I can't just say distribution because I have preview other other um, operating systems other than just Linux. But all of them that I preview, this is one of the first ones to come out of the box with integration or mouse integration built into it. That's real slick. You know, I don't have to worry about coming down here, enabling it, mouse integration, or clicking and having mouse integration. It's just part of that system already with Levante. That's very slick, very creative. Those guys on the Levante team, and, you know, I give myself a small pack itself because I'm doing a small portion by just getting this out on my um, blog, blog post right now. I'm doing a small portion. But the, the, the developers, testers, and everybody involved in this distribution have to pat themselves on the back with it because not many distributions are coming out of the box in great, um, already integrated inside a virtual machine with seamless mouse movement. That's, that's key to me. That's slick. That's very good. That's very nice program. So if we start looking at the differences or start looking at what, what is offered, what comes with Lubuntu 13.10, in the accessory menu, you know, we, we got the, the normal things that you need, a calculator, an image viewer, uh, uh, a notepad or a leaf pad utility, a notepad. The leaf pad is, is equivalent to notebook or notepad. Um, you have the terminal, a way to get down to the command line or 
foremost. You got notes, expat, which is equivalent to, to uh, uh, a sticky program. Then you have your file manager, you know, Windows Explorer. I didn't say that. You have an explorer, or a file manager. Uh, archiver, zip, you know, things of that nature. Now, I'm going to leave that up just so you can see what I have. And the major difference between this is I installed Gedit. I like Gedit inside. It's a, it's a nice um, scale down. It's not an integrated development environment, but it is. It has a couple of features that makes you know dealing with different programming language. You know, you get your color coded features that makes it's really nice, really slick. So over Leafpad, which is just a simple notepad, notebook. Um, simple editor which you need a simple editor sometimes to strip strip away formatting um, from something that you're doing so leaf pad I like anyway it's a little slick icon the leaf with the pencil on it I like that anyhow and then G edit I just put it back put it right there not taking nothing away I also have X archiver in here which does a few more few more features than archive manager now we look at graphics we come here I said I don't have any games but if we look at graphics document viewer uh, MT paint graphic editor you got paint graphic editor and then you have simple scan well I, I use blender document viewer GIMP <laughs> image magic for the display Inkscape liberal office draw Empty Paint Graphic Editor, uh, Oakler, Simple Scan, and X Scan come in there. You know, some of these come because you've installed another product. But all I'm saying is, GIMP is my major thing. The GIMP is is a total professional tool. I mean, it's free and it's very professional. Uh, that is like the number one free imaging edit editor program that's out there. Uh, if we look at the internet, you know, the major thing that you're going to see different for me is that I have TV and HTTP IRC. You got to have some IRC channels. And I like to help my friends out remotely. So let's go see. See there? They have Firefox. You have instant messaging. You have email, an email client. And then you have transmission and torrent client. So if we go to office you you're going to come out of the box be able to do word documents or create documents and you're going to be able to do a spreadsheet and you're going to be able to view view pdf files well me personally me personally um i have to do libre libre office um ch and viewer gantt project is project management and then Oakler is a part of it as well. Um, sound and video, Audacity, GNOME, uh, Media Player, uh, Camera, and XF, X, XF Burn. Excuse me. And yes, I use XF Burn. Uh, VLC is, is de facto as far as media player design is good as well um, simple screen record is what I'm using right now to record this um, different projects different I've been trying to find the correct way to edit videos in the best way make sure I can capture good audio and video and I hope to get better audacity is is uh, audio editing uh, tool so I just hope to get better and eventually and essentially I hope to be making better tools. Now we go to system tools and, and you see here and there's one one tool that I want to point out to you. You know, we'll do the profile in here super fast. Just to see what I did it and it did, you know, Fina Triple Core coming up inside the virtual machine, just let you know. Um, five hundred and twelve maze is what I allocated to this this machine and still zooming. You know, only thing that I don't have installed is Conky to just let you see up here in the corner, you know, uh, just what all is going on. Um, but 
one two that I like outside that they said in system two with kickstart so you can automate once you install 1310 salsa salamander you can automate your installation that's nice um, system testing tracking is optional I want to do it because I want to make sure I can test and track and, and really be a part put back into the community that allows me to have such good wonderful free free software uh, I cannot end or stop you know it's not enough words in the dictionary that I can really say or enough accolades that I can give to this community or this team of people individual that made this all happen you know um, this is very compatible um, with anybody who's familiar with uh, any of the Windows distribution the Windows operating system especially um, the 9x series this is really nice before they went off on the deep end and I'm not going to say nothing bad about Microsoft because without them we wouldn't be here but X, this is really close to X, the the last the latest the last support or the last you know uh, um, I mean it's, it's even in the, it's in that bracket the Bonto is really in that bracket to compete on a major major um, platform right now it's going to compete Ubuntu, Lubuntu, all of the different flavors of Ubuntu Linux is on the move it's on the rise um, get ready that's all I got to tell you is get ready it's on the rise it, you know it's it's every bit of what what it, what everyone say it is you know get ready to take control get ready to have uh, jump out of the matrix get ready to know that Linux is on the rise and the different flavors of Linux um, especially in the Ubuntu family I am because we are I am because you are I am because we are it really is making a, a major difference this is El Benetton better known as Lovely